Alright, so this was originally supposed to be one kind of video, but it's going to be two. Um, we still got some time to wait before our um, amp build comes, but I, we got a, 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 I got a package in the mail, so we're going to have a little bo unboxing. But I wanted to take a look at the schematic and what makes this Smoke and Joe amp interesting to me. Um, take a look, we have our input. See, down here is this our power supply down there. And we have preamp inverter power tubes okay so I think the most interesting thing about this is the preamp circuit you have obviously your input um, 68k resistance uh, mag to ground cathode bypass cap but take a look at this we have the what looks like a normal triode gain stage and we're taking the anode putting it back into the uh, grid over here and we're actually so we have an anode gain stage here and we have a cathode gain stage here and I believe this is referred to as an SRPP type preamp um, it was kind of uh, originally done in televisions and things because it offered uh, a cleaner signal and I'm going to post a link um, down in the description there, and uh, you can read about that. It's, uh, but it's going to be unique because I have not done a guitar amplifier that had that kind of circuit. And then we have our tone and our first volume or gain volume or whatever, and then that's going to come out to our uh, inverter, which is going to go to the master volume which is right there that's the master volume and then to the power tubes etc so um, and these are uh, cathode bypass through our um, resistor and cap here so uh, this kind of section of the amp is different but the front end here is a little unique so I thought you might want to see that and let's do our unboxing okay everybody this is kind of a preview you know we're going to be building an amp on this channel and I got my first uh, box here of parts this is not from Weber this is not the Weber kit this is actually from CE distribution aka amplified parts or uh, antique electronic supply but uh, there's a couple extra things I wanted for my amp um, everything in the Weber kit should be all you need to build the thing but uh, I decked out a little bit because that's just how I roll. So, you'll see what we got. It's not too exciting. We got these things. These are just a convenient uh, place to solder. You can put these underneath a bolt, like on the transformer bolt or something like that. Crank them down and they give you a nice little tab to solder on. We've got a few of those. I ordered some of CE Distribution's lacquer covered wire. The wire that they ship with the Weber kit is usually okay, but when you go to strip it, uh, they don't coat the outer, and it tends to you get a lot of fraying. This stuff stays together a little bit better, but I actually recommend stripping this stuff. I have better luck stripping it with a knife with a knife than I do with a wire stripper. So we got some of this. I have some in another color too, but I just wanted to you know be nice and colorful. And then we got our vacuum tubes which are Electroharmonics brand. Um, I don't have a particular soft spot for Electroharmonics per se, but uh, I've had good success with their tubes. Essentially, when you buy tubes, uh, they come from one of three factories. You're going to get them from China, which is what you would get in the Weber kit, which I declined to take them because they don't match the power tubes, um, which it's not going to kill you in most cases, but um, whatever. And they, they don't really test them for, you know, bum ones, where these are going to be pre-tested. Um, when you get tubes, you're either going to be getting them from China, which they're not bad tubes as long as you test it and weed out the bad ones. Uh, there's ones from JJ, which is uh, Slovak Republic, Slovakia. And uh, then there is the Russian-made tubes, which is uh, Electroharmonics, the current production Mullard, uh, Tungsol, Sobtech, um, Genelex, uh, 
all those are coming out of the same plant. So these are the Electro Harmonics branded ones, same guys that are making the Tongue Stall, which is a uh, pretty highly reputable um, EL84. But uh, the Electro Harmonics was more affordable, and I've had good success with the quality of the tubes. So just for fun, we'll pull one out and give it a look and see what it looks like. It's going to just look like a vacuum tube. This is not exciting. But, uh, and it's going to stay in the box. There we go. So there you go. Do do do. Um, allegedly, these are, you know, they, they've been re engineered a few times to make them more durable and to help deal with them rattling around in the um, uh, combo amps and whatnot. It's been said, rumored, something that the newer tubes, uh, with the way that they've done the filament structures of the 12AX7s and things like that, that now because tubes are being made more exclusively for guitar amps where they're going to get rattled around and beat around that the manufacturers have actually responded by making a more durable tube and uh, this factory uh, has experience making military tubes so these are probably you know more military type than they are consumer radio type so anyway that's just a little bit of preview of a couple of the other little thingamajigs that are going along with our amp kit which should still be here it's probably about two three weeks out still sorry but uh, just to let you know that I'm still alive and uh, what our plans are. Thanks for watching.